you come back a fourth time and I ain't clean that room. Amen, amen. So I made it natural, let me make it spiritual. We know Jesus is coming back. Did you clean your room? Did you set things in order? I, I, I'm taking that step. I'm gonna take a second, I, I, in my spirit, I feel like there's more ministers here than everyone else. So let me talk to the ministers. Did we, did we redeem relationships that were broken? Did we call the person up and say, I apologize? Did we call the person that owed you money? Did you call them and say, I forgive your debt? Why is those things important? Because if there's this, if there's like a distraction between us and, and other people, how do we then teach them about Christ and him coming back if they're already holding up a barrier because we have discord? Same thing to go with family. There's that cousin. We all got cousins somewhere that needs Jesus really, really bad. And when we talk to the other family members, they always want to talk about the cousin. But did you go visit him when he was at his lowest point? I, I, I'm speaking to myself too. Did you deliver a sandwich when you knew he was hungry? Did you help him out? We got the holidays coming up. What's going to happen on the holidays when you have to deal with those family members that are extreme on the other side of your belief system and they call you racist and they call you this and they call you this supporter and this and they talk about your God and we get offensive, but can we keep loving? Amen, amen. Can we be loving? True. Why is this important? Because the world, the Bible says hope deferred makes the heart sick. Yes, yes, yes. You can't be called a minister and not Deal with the sick people. Amen. 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 And the scripture is very practical in this statement. Hope deferred makes the heart sick. Amen. So if you want Jesus to come into somebody's heart, you're going to give them medicine, and that medicine is hope. Yes. Love. I can preach till I'm blue in the face, but if I don't have no hope, That's it. That's it. if I don't give them hope, what did Jesus say? He says, listen, when I was naked and you clothed me, when I was hungry, you fed me. You can come on in. God, when did we do this? Jesus, I don't remember you ever being naked or being hungry. Jesus, when you do this to the least of these, you do this to me. Amen, amen. We need to give people hope. Amen. Now I'm going to add this last thing. I'm going to do my song. How can you, but for a lot of people, I'm going to say this. How can you then give hope when you are hopeless? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> now you how can you give hope if you're hopeless? The Bible says that now faith is the substance of things you hope for and the, and the evidence. Sorry. Evidence. evidence thank you, of uh, things not seen, unseen. You need hope to have faith. You can't be hopeless and ask for faith. It's one of the ingredients of faith. So you have to find hope. So where do you find hope? It's in the person Jesus Christ. Yes. It's in him. You just spend time with him. And what's going to happen? Let me tell you what's going to happen, young man. Right here, look at that at me. This is what's going to happen. Jesus is going to remind you who he is. Amen. Amen. And then he's going to remind you of what he told you to do. See, we think Jesus is going to give you a new assignment. Jesus is not going to give you a new assignment. He's going to refresh the one that you passed on. He's going to like, okay, you got it? I'm kind of ready, Jesus. All right. Now, remember when I told you in 1999 that you were supposed to write this book? Here's the book. Yeah. You ready? And listen, people are like, I need finance. I need this. I need that. Right, right, right. That's what right. you have. If you wrote this book, like I told you in 1999, the resources, the resources show up. When you start walking in the call that God called you to. There's a scripture that also says, many are called, but fear are chosen. I'm going to tell you the difference real quick. My phone can ring all day, and it actually does. Everybody call me. See, I'm called. Chosen is when I pick up and say hello. I chose to talk to that person. So people, a lot of people believe called chosen means that Jesus is selected, goes, 
called, 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 chosen, called, called. Nah, son, he calls everybody. But who chooses to answer the call? So this last song is called Hope. I want this to, to, to dig deep into your spirit. We need hope in our lives. We need hope in this country. But if it doesn't start here, it ain't going nowhere else. If it's not in yourself, it's not going anywhere else. And if you have hope, then go give hope to your family. Give hope to your church. Give hope to the people around you. Give hope to your neighbor. This is 2022. We don't talk to our neighbors no more. You better go give hope to that sucker. They need it. Because <laughs> hope deferred makes the heart sick. Okay, Josiah, I'm ready.